So my research interest is in the area of interfacial engineering. So anything that has to do with the surface or between two materials, the interface between the two materials. And batteries, um, because they, are, they have an electrode, they have an electrolyte, there's always an interface involved. And so if you can engineer an interface to do what you want it to do, uh, then you can make more efficient batteries, you can make lighter batteries, you can make batteries that uh, out of materials that you might usually not be able to use if you don't know very much about interfacial engineering. We have started to do um, research in solar, disensitized solar cells. We are trying to um, make more efficient electrodes for disensitized solar cells, which will allow us to harvest light more efficiently. And so what we have done is we've started to assemble particles into colloidal crystals, so tightly packed particles. And um, when you pack particles very tightly, then you have the particles uh, occupy about 75% of the space and it, the other 25% are air. And so what we have done is we infiltrate this 25% with the material and then remove the 75% that are particle. And so we can make very light, um, very porous electrode structures with a very high surface um, area. These kind of electrode materials should be used in disensitized solar cells for energy harvesting applications. So for example, you, we might be able to make very cheap electrodes um, and then very cheap Dyson sized solar cells that can be put on the roof of a house and will allow a house to be self-sufficient with respect to energy production um, and will allow um, the user or the person living in the house to have a much lower energy bill and be independent of the grid, for example. The other um, part that we have recently started in collaboration with other, coll other colleagues in the Energy Institute um, uh, we are starting to look at emulsions and we are starting to look at how to use particles that we, uh, that we make in my laboratory to stabilize or destabilize emulsions. The applications of emulsions lie, lies in many different industrial sectors um, such as the oil industry, um, the, the cosmetic industry, the food industry. And in a lot of different areas people want to either stabilize or destabilize their emulsions. And so what we uh, what we are able to do with modifying these particle surfaces, we are able to control the stability of an emulsion, or we want to be able to control the stability of an emulsion. The oil industry um, uses uh, water to wash out wells, or uh, like in the most recent uh, oil disaster, the, the spill that is going on in the Gulf of Mexico right now, um, they, they, they use um, a, a, a surfactant or a disperser to mix the oil and water better to then be able to treat the the mixture better or collect the oil more easily and make it less environmentally unfriendly. However, um, the dispersion they use um, is first of all slightly toxic or toxic and cannot easily be removed from that oil water emulsion that they have as a result of dispersing the dispersion agent. And so if they would use something that is particularly, they might be able to filtrate it out very easily rather than having to go, to go through a very difficult process of um, using dialysis or um, other chemical separation methods to remove the surfactant to separate the oil and water. The particles that we are currently making have interfacial activity, so they will be able to go to an oil-water interface. The question is, can we produce these particles at a large enough scale to use in such a case where, where a spill has happened and can be used? And if we can answer that question with yes, then we will be able to, in the future, help with these kind of cleanup um, situations. Mm -hmm.